This is the best offense to use in Madden 24 right now. Here we go! It has explosive run plays. Run. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. And one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Break yourself, fool! So if you want to see what explosive new offense I'm using to get results like this. Stick around after the intro. The For the fastest, cheapest, most reliable coins on the market, check out my coin sponsor MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Denver Broncos Offensive and Las Vegas Raiders Defensive eBooks. If you guys want more help, you can download these or any of my eBooks simply by clicking the links in the description or the top pinned comment. Today I'm going to be using my Philadelphia Eagles in what might be one of my last gameplays with them for a while, as I've already recorded several gameplays using a brand new team in the New York Giants. And even though I haven't brought those gameplays to you guys yet, I'm already ready to move on to a new team, so let me know in the comment section what team you guys would like to see me use next. And if you're enjoying the content, please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button as it really helps out the video and the channel. And I appreciate the support. I started this game out on defense, and I'll once again be using my big nickel over G scheme, which I've already made several videos about but i'll mostly be focusing on offense in this video so if you guys want to see more about this defense i will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video so stick around for that it starts off pretty good as i basically get a coverage sack Hi. before travis kelsey gets one of the most bs animations i've ever seen not once but twice as he breaks through half my defense and outruns the rest for an 80 yard score making me hate taylor swift even more on offense, I start this game by using my gun wing flex offset scheme, which was my favorite offense before the October patch. I just recently put out an updated full breakdown of this scheme on my second practice mode channel, so once again, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to see more, as this is not the offense that this gameplay is about. And my opponent does a pretty good job of making me work for every yard as he gets me into a quick third and seven before I work to drag to my tight end, who is not Travis Kelsey, so I only get the first down. But since he is running a cover one the entire time, I go back to the drag on the next play to get another first down before I switch to the PA double post on the next play and do my best Travis Kelsey impression to tie the game. Who needs a 99 overall tight end in a fake relationship when you have Albert? On defense, I was kind of pissed off about how that lucky first drive ended, so I called my favorite defense in the cover six trap as the pressure forces a bad throw gotcha, bitch. and we get more interceptions and touchdowns with this defense than we do any other defense in the game. Link in the description if you haven't seen that video. Now down 14-7, my opponent is going to try to overpower me with the speed of his offense before trying to hit me with a jet sweep and getting pushed backwards, but at least this guy plays like the real life Chiefs. No! Now in third and long, this dude is playing like the real Patrick Mahomes as he scrambles for the first down. <laughs> Well, almost, because we all know Mahomes would have either gotten the first down or at the very least got a first down via penalty for that hit. As he hits his safety blanket on the next play. From here he goes back under center and that's never a good idea. As I send the heat anytime I see that. And now I don't care who his quarterback is as we send the heat again to force a fourth and a mile before he punts it away. And now with a comfortable lead and wanting to play keep away from Mahomes boy, I'm going to switch to a new offense that today's video is about in the eye from close, as this is one of the best offenses to use after the October 4th patch made running the football more viable again. If you don't know, before the patch, the read and react AI in Madden 24 would make the defense learn and react better to run plays that they've seen before, meaning that if you ran the same play a few times, the defense would play it like a run commit, making it much harder to run as the game went on. This allowed people to shut down the run in small nickel and dime based packages though, just as good as people running 3-4 and 4-3 defenses. So, so in the past they changed the requirement needed for this feature to be turned on. Now if the offense has more tight ends and linemen on the field than the defense has linemen and linebackers, the adaptive AI won't turn on, making running the ball that much easier. My offensive personnel package has 7, that's 5 linemen and 2 tight ends including the fullback, which means my opponent has to match with either a 3-4 or a 4-3 or he won't get any help. For my audible plays, I have the double outs first. First, as this speed out route speeds just about every single defense in the game except cover to zone, so I will use that play whenever I need a guaranteed 8 to 10 yards. The PA deep cross go has a very unique route here in the deep crosser that beats any defense in the game, 
so I can use this whenever I need a guaranteed 15 to 20 yards or more. PA tight end leak is a one play touchdown against every defense. And my last two plays are for my run plays. As I keep the zone weak in my fourth audible spot, and I choose the halfback stretch for my fifth and active play. As these are the two plays I will use the most. There are more plays and setups to the scheme, but I can only show you plays based on what my opponent runs, which is why I already made a full practice mode style breakdown of this entire offense. So if you guys want to see more, I will have a link in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. There are several reads I need to make to determine what play to run. The first is to see the size of his defensive personnel. On the first play, it looks like he is in a nickel package, so I think that the AI is turned off, which means I am going to run and I don't have to worry about the defense remembering my run plays. The next step is where to run, inside or outside. To run outside, I will need outside leverage, which means I need my widest lineman or tight end to be wider than their closest box defender, which is something I don't have here. But since he is spread so far apart, I see a lot of holes inside, so I switch to my inside run and pick up six, a good first run. And that's all I'm going to do the entire drive. On the next play, I see my tight end has outside leverage this time, so I stay with the stretch run, because all of his defenders are in a cluster on the weak side, which leaves a lot of space if I can get past his first level of defenders. And even though I have to cut it back there's still plenty of space outside here as i get a big run for the first down when i get back to the huddle it looks like the formation that he's in is more like a 4-3 defense so the reactive ai was probably watching me this entire time no problem though as i have a backup plan for this situation as this formation has a total of four runs two inside runs in the zone weak and the halfback iso and two outside runs in the halfback stretch and the halfback toss so i'm just going to switch up my inside and outside run plays and run the ball the exact same way the toss play isn't as good but at least it keeps my run plays fresh ultimately though since he's matching it just means i have to pass more and since he's going to cover three i switch to the double outs on the next play and take the speed out route for close to a first down before getting it with the halfback iso in the very next play the plan is to never run the same run play twice in a row to keep the run plays fresh and not trigger the ai too much i see that he's in cover zero in the next play so i switch to the halfback stretch once again only this time i motion across the b receiver as this gives me several options now that there's no cornerback here to defend this edge i could go that way but these receivers run fake routes that pull back the man coverage corners before turning into blockers which gives me a huge wall and a lot of space as we get around the corner and we're off to the races he cut Go all the way. And my opponent is on quit watch. He completes a big pass to who else to get the midfield before the blitz gets him for a big sack to push him back to fourth and forever. And he decides it's now or never. <laughs> as we get a game ceiling interception. See ya. My next game is against the Eagles' former offensive coordinator, Shane Steichen and the Colts, which is not a team that you see online very often, but I've seen people play well with just about every single team. To start the game out on defense, if you're gonna be using this team, it's most likely to run. So we have to shut that down first as we get into a quick fourth down and he decides to punt. And we, get a, and we get a nice return to start the next drive already at midfield. From here, we're going to run our offense the exact same way, and my opponent appears to already be matching. So we don't get much on the first play, though, before deciding to run with Hurts and almost getting the first down. I switch to the halfback stretch on the next play and run the exact same way, only this time the cornerback follows. So I hike the ball before the receiver and cornerback get set. Doing this will ensure that the cornerback isn't much of a factor on the play, as we get the same wall of blockers as we did the last game, only this time... We have to make the cover one safety miss as we score another 50 yard rushing touchdown. Back on defense, my opponent is clearly having trouble with the timing against these blitzes as he tries to go back to the round the very next play. Sit your ass down. But I'm not letting him do that as he tries to scramble in the next play before punting it away on fourth and long once again. And Quez gets me great field position again as we loop around the punt coverage for another big return. When I come out of the huddle, I see that his cornerbacks are five yards off the line of scrimmage, which is a clear indicator of cover two zone. So I switch to the PA tight end leak, which is my one play touchdown versus every defense in the game, as all I have to do is put the fullback on a wheel route and motion him to the left, and that will cancel out the safety's ability to match the post route. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Back on defense, my opponent is suddenly a pass first player, as being down two scores will do that to anybody. So I just turn up the heat, and now we're pushing him backwards just like we did the Chiefs, as we get him to a third and long before getting him to a fourth and even longer. Bring that ass here, boy. And he punts it away again. Or not, as he finally decides to go for it, but that was one of the worst play calls I've ever seen. How about no? And somehow it was still only the second worst fourth down attempt I've ever seen from a Colts player. Yeah. 
After that desperation attempt, I know it's close to checkout time if I could punch this in. So I start to pass a little bit more as I hit the speed out route for the first down before I see cover two once again. So I try to set up the one play touchdown only to get buried on back to back plays as this dude somehow runs right around the best right tackle in football. What the hell was that? So like I said earlier, if I need 20 yards, I switch to the PA deep cross go and nothing stops this route except a good user and we get a first down inside the 10. From here, it's nothing but runs as we inch closer before we get stopped at the three yard line and I decide to go for it as I'm trying to put this guy away early. So with a big fourth down the line, I switch to the money's run play in my arsenal in the halfback stretch, motion across the receiver one more time to create that wall and no one even touches me as I walk it in. So that's that's the video. If you guys enjoyed the content, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section. And if you want to see more about the offenses and defenses I was using in today's video to get the win, I will have them popping up on screen. Other than that, until next time, thanks for watching, man. Make sure out. If you just want to show your support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.